Yo, what's up YouTube family? It's your boy Kuz. We back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to some creepy and woke TikTok reactions. I'm talking about the kind that's gonna have you questioning everything. With that said, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop some new fire content that you definitely don't wanna miss. One more thing, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Don't believe anything that you hear or see in these videos. Don't believe anything that I say in these videos. Always use your own discernment and always, always, always do your own research. Let's get right to it. Come on, man. There's growing concern about the local spread of the dengue fever. Two people in the Keys have caught the mosquito-borne illness locally, meaning they did not get it while traveling. Nationally, there have been more than 2,200 cases of dengue fever this year. Only six people, though, caught it in the continental U.S. The vast majority of the cases were people who had traveled internationally. Severe dengue can be deadly or even lead to internal bleeding. Beware dengue fever. Y'all, is this real? TikTok, I'm not saying it's real. This is an American spy pigeon. It is equipped with an device inside that is as powerful as a giant bomb. Next to it is a military grade chip to process incoming information. Below the pigeon is a turbofan engine that can dive at a target if necessary. Good question. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? Above the engine is a fuel storage tank to power it. On the chest of the pigeon is a high definition camera that it can take very clear pictures even at a great distance. The pigeon's head is equipped with a transmitter that transmits the information it's captured. One of these pigeons had been captured. When it was disassembled, it looked like this. Before you answer if it's real, there's a literal website called Pigeons Aren't Real Government Drones. But look at, watch this. I found an article. When the CIA spied on American citizens using pigeons? Be careful what you let your kids eat, and here's why. They make a Canadian version of Fruit Loops that they undoubtedly produce in this country, in the U.S. They already make it, and they already have the formulation for it here, and they ship it up to Canada, and yet the one that they sell here has Red 40, Yellow 5, Yellow 6, Blue 1, and BHT. All of those ingredients are not included in their international version of Fruit Loops. Why do they sell Americans the shittier, less safe version here? They've acknowledged that natural food colorings are less bright. Yeah. And when they're less bright, they're less attractive to children. Americans want the brighter cereal. That's what they say. Oh, yeah. And that's right. And here's the worst part, Mark. The worst part, uh, in some of the food dyes cases, they're not fully banned, but they require a warning label. Yeah. Similar to the warning label you would have on cigarettes. Yeah, absolutely. And the warning label says, ingredients in this food product may impair your children's learning ability yeah. and will and may cause behavioral disorders in your children. Right. And then personally, both of my children are very affected by uh, Red 40 in particular, where my son will come back from a birthday party and he'll be acting like a lunatic, he'll be jumping off the walls, he won't be able to sit still. And we'll, my, my wife and I will literally say to him, Tyson, what did you eat? And he'll say, oh, I had some Skittles, or oh, I ate some Charmed Blow Pop, or I had some Fruit Loops, whatever it is. And when we remove the food diet yeah. from their diets, it is a noticeable behavioral change. It's, it's actually so mm -hmm. funny the things that people consider normal to consume. Hey, but make sure to dominate the plus button or else Red 40 is going to get you. And I'll see you guys there. Let's get it. Got to watch what we pin in our bodies. So the matter is, we watched this nigga get murdered. Right in front of our own motherfucking face. And the nigga knew it was going to happen. He told us and we didn't know. Nigga named his last tour. This is it. This is it. Let me just tell you a little nigga secret, if I could. <laughs> Niggas have never said this is it in a celebratory fashion. Let me just say, white people do it all the time. This is it. Not niggas. Every time we say it, we say it like this. You know, you know what, nigga, this is it. <laughs> this is it. I mean, this is really it. This is the final. This is... The final curtain call. What y'all think? 
coincidence. Now, this is insane. The year 2024 is considered the worst year in history in terms of weather and economic crisis, as it is the time and the predictions from a mysterious time traveler about the weird upcoming events in 2024 make everything even crazier. Save this and come back if they are proven to be true. On April 11th, ocean water is black for a week, and many unknown sea creatures wash up on shore. On May 14th, the Second American Civil War began as Texas succeeded from the country, followed by other states. It will eventually lead to an all-out war with involvement from other countries and nuclear weapons. On August 5th, massive versions of over 40 mysterious species are discovered in a secret part of the Amazon rainforest. These include a six-foot butterflies, three-foot-long ants, five-foot spiders, 200-foot snakes, and three-feet-sized cats. On September 15th, the first ever Category 6 hurricane on the U.S. East Coast, it makes landfall in Florida as a Category 5 before returning to the ocean, strengthening and slamming into South Carolina as a Category 6. On October 25th, a very famous musician comes out saying he faked his death. Everyone will know who he is. He is known as a legend of his time and will be even more famous than Taylor Swift. Ooh, not too far fresh from reality, huh? I cannot unsee and unfathom what I just saw and what I just fathomed. This parallel is absolutely huge and it will make a lot of sense what's going on on the earth right now. Be back in one second. Can somebody please tell me what the f this is? I live in Mansell, Texas. And this is in the sky today. And now there's helicopters out circling the area. If anybody has any idea what this is. When I saw the bend at the bottom of the staff, I knew exactly what we're looking at. It's going to blow your freaking mind. I kept thinking, where do I know that bend from? From a Sith. Who carries the Sith? Death. And in one second, I'm going to show you that what was in the sky has an aura and is real. And now in other mythology, death or father time has the Sith and has the hourglass. Who else has a Sith at the very end? You'll see. So by screwing around and modifying the picture, we can literally see what looks like an aura, but the aura is not just on him. This is the telephone wire, and this is the mysterious figure. Energy, energy, look around them, the aura, the energy. This was literally something alive in the sky. But why right now? This parallel gets huge. Revelation 6 verse 7 is the fourth seal, and when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I look, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed him. So Death sat on the fourth horse, and Hell followed with him. What's that mean? His name was Death, Hell followed him, and power was given him over the fourth part of the earth, to unalive with the sword, and with hunger, with death, and with the beast of the earth. Don't we know that God talks to us through signs so we know what's happening? And this just happens to pop up when humanity is being plagued by all sorts of things. In Revelation chapter 14, we see one like unto the Son of Man coming from the clouds having a sickle in his hand. And the angel said, Thrust in your sickle, the earth is ripe to reap. Not only are we in a time where hell is unleashed upon the earth, we're also about to see the splitting of the wheat and the tares of the goat and the sheep. We are living within parallels upon parallels upon parallels. But this will be the last time. Mm. So if y'all don't know, they are here banning all the truthers accounts on TikTok. It's been happening for a little minute, but it's at a rapid pace now, dog. They don't want you talking about the truth or conspiracies Anything out in the ordinary. They want men versus women on this motherfucking app. Ass shaking on this motherfucking app. And music beef on this motherfucking app. That's it. Oh yeah, and racism, dog. But you talk about some real shit, some truth shit? Nah, we can't have that. Now I think this shit got something to do with that ban. But I don't give a fuck. They taking us down, dog. And guess what? If you want to hear some truth to me, from me, I'm going to make my motherfucking Patreon account. And you can just pay 99 cent. Because I ain't dealing with this shit. They've been fucking with all my social media accounts. Every single last one. Because they don't want that truth out. 
we ain't, if your shit got taken down, you ain't getting it back. It's over for it, dog. It's over. That's why you don't see nobody like me in your for you no more. They got rid of us, dog. But that's a big fact. And it's gonna keep happening. One by one by one. Let's take them down. Get rid of all the truthers and promote bullshit. Well, we had our time, y'all. But only thing I'm gonna be posting on this motherfucker is comedy shit. So you wanna see me roast some of your favorite celebrities? I'm gonna do it. And that's all I'm gonna be doing on this motherfucker. Dog. Peace. Y'all heard the man. Y'all see what's going on, man. A lot of people out here think it's a game, man. Y'all think, you know, that uh, when I was telling y'all about this stuff about, you know, shadow ban on, you know, you know, being shadow ban on here, it, that it's a joke. It's not, man. It's getting real out here, man. And, you know, shout out to the bigger channels, man, who's still kicking in there. But I know y'all seeing a difference in your numbers, man, because I'm seeing a difference in mine, you know. So I know y'all definitely seeing a difference in y'all's, man. But, uh, like, on TikTok, it's, it's a lot going on right now, y'all. But, uh, like I say, we, uh, we know we in it together. We're going to stay strong. We're going to keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? And y'all bear with us. experience being a single young woman because you guys met when you were only 18 and he mm -hmm. was 31 at the time do you agree with him like do you feel like you missed out on anything because mm. of that relationship i feel like first of all let me just say i was not a great girlfriend to brian i'll be very honest and like he was Yikes. not great to me either all the time but I think it would be easy for me to lean into and complain about or let it seem like that relationship was one way that maybe I was not great because I was young and really should not have been in a relationship of that that level of commitment and that magnitude. With the, I, I shouldn't have been involved in that when I was 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I shouldn't have been. So I did a lot of like falling in love with other people all the time. Um, I would go to work and fall in love because I was a kid and um yeah I never had the full freedom to like be single and experience Man, that you life see it, you can't and I thought it. for a minute when I got divorced that that's what I was gonna do and I was single for like three weeks 
tent. Then you just met that guy. Yeah, Boom. I thought I was really going to go full, like, Leo DiCaprio for a while. That would have been really, like, fun to watch. Everyone says that to me. <laughs> um, Everyone I agrees. Man, you can obviously see the difference, man. What the hell is really going on in Hollywood? I mean, I really don't want to know, but uh, y'all, y'all, come to your own conclusion. Let me know what y'all, what you, come to your own conclusion. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I don't know why I keep saying y'all. King Kai. Black version. <laughs> Listen closely to what the OB is really trying to tell you. y'all was really paying attention to them lyrics and listening man that was straight fire y'all let me know what y'all think about that he telling you in the lyrics man <laughs> Okay, oh. 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 Well, that's for the rest in pain or something. It's believed that this woman was collecting her blood for a voodoo ritual. If people collect your blood, they can use it to possess you or make voodoo dolls of you that will hurt you. So stay safe out there. That's very scary. She survived a satanic ritual. This is 16-year-old Bronwyn Grammer. In 2011, her and her friend, 18-year-old Kirsty Theologo, were lured to a hill by three boys and a girl who were carrying candles and a Bible. This is where they were attacked, tied up, and doused with gasoline. The group believed by doing this, they would gain power, wealth, and fame. With that, the two girls were set alight. In what was a heroic effort, Kirsty managed to carry Bronwyn all the way home, where she eventually collapsed from her injuries and later passed away in the hospital. 
hospital. Although Bronwyn managed to survive the incident, Bronwyn testified against her attackers, showing her burns and eventually telling the story of how Kirsty saved her. For the people involved in the rituals, ages 18 to 21, one was sentenced to life in prison, one received 40 years, one received 6 months, and the last one was acquitted. It was a tragic event, but Kirsty's heroics towards her friends will never go unnoticed as prayers out to the family. It's tragic. Full house is dirty, bro. They had this shit on TV. They had this shit on TV. This is why I stay away from Hollywood, bro. I stay away from Hollywood. Church taking it pretty hard, huh? I don't know about Yo. that, but his father sure is a mess. <laughs> Well, I hope Michelle's feeling a little better. Oh, man, it's all my fault. There's so much pressure on her. She didn't know whether she was coming or going. When she started, she was just a happy-go-lucky kid. And then I got a hold of her, and I worked her, and I, I drilled her, and so there was nothing left but just a, just an overworked, over-drilled little hunk of overworked, over-drilled. Danny, come, come. Don't get your shorts. This was on TV, bro. Joy. This is highly weird. No, I mean, your, your shorts are... Sick motherfuckers. Y'all, what in tarnation is going on in the United States? It's flooding everywhere. There's a Livingston Dam in Texas, and they're saying that it might fail. Now, I did some Google Earthing to show you guys uh, who would be in the crossfire if it failed. Not only that, Curse Cowardly Dog is in trouble. Okay, so say it did fail, the dam is up here. There is literally three little villages over here that could all be impacted by this. These people have money, but they wouldn't for long. But I'm telling you guys, it's flooding everywhere. This is Las Vegas, New Mexico. And it is crazy over here. This was, what, a few days ago? All over the place. Not to mention all the sinkholes I've been showing you that randomly just cave in through the ground. Like, no, take me away from here. Don't worry, Courage is coming. He's coming. Don't worry. And I told you, Courage the Cowardly Dog's house is affected too. He lives in Iowa, I guess. This is crazy. All the storms we have seen this year. They need to return the slab ASAP. So they can go back to normal. Return the slab. Return the slab. And it looks like finally we have our first hurricane of the anticipated 2024 hurricane season, which is now a tropical storm. You can see how tightly wound and structured it is, and it's very dark in the center, and they're saying it's likely it'll become a category two or three. But this year we're expecting sixes. Say hey man, what y'all think? Y'all think that it was a natural disaster? Y'all think that was a weather machine incident? Cause that was looking real, real, real bad. So this video is going viral in Mexico. And basically this group of friends is camping and they can tell they're being hunted or stalked or something. So they actually take their drone out and use thermal to follow it. And that's what you can see here. Well, then something unexplained happens. I went ahead and translated the audio, so here it is from the beginning. Context. I went camping with some friends, and we noticed that a person started following us. During the night we felt being watched, and heard noises around us. The next day at camp we saw their tracks, and we were missing things. I raised my drone with thermal camera to follow the person and retrieve our things. The person stopped at this point. Changed the vision of the drone to see the person, and this is what happened. Remember this? Remember when we had to cut this? Look, look how look how nasty people are. They wrapped this around the tree, and then wrapped this wire to this tree here. Wrapped it around there. See, there goes a little bit of wire left right there. We cut this because imagine you know dirt bikers coming through here, quarters coming through here, or even like mountain bikers come through here. Boom, decapitated. Yep. That thin ass piece of wire, let's say you're doing like 30 miles an hour. Let's say you're doing like 30 miles an hour through here, you're gonna lose your fucking head. 
Yep, and this was stretched all the way across. Look, this went all the way across from that tree to there and connected to here and wrapped around this tree. So I'm gonna try to kill somebody. Talking about people being crazy. Well, y'all heard what he said. You would went through that trap on a bike or something, even 30 miles per hour, even shit, 20, 25 miles per hour. Instantly decapitated, Bubba. No, sir. That's man, that's bad. That's bad business, though. Pay attention. Ugh. That is a type of bloodwood tree, and a very dramatic one at that. They're named bloodwood trees for obvious reasons. Their sap looks like blood. It's not blood. That red colour comes from the high amount of tannins in the sap. That's the same thing that's in wine. But it does serve a very similar function to blood. If we cut ourselves and we bleed, coagulants in the blood cause a scab to form, which promotes healing of our skin. When you cut open a tree like that, it's also vulnerable to infection. So it's really important that the tree blocks up the wound and promotes healing. And that's what the sap does. If you watch that video to the end, you actually see the flow of sap start to slow down, showing that it's doing its job properly. I'd like to point out that these trees aren't rare either. They're found across Australia and South Africa. They're just usually a bit less dramatic than this. Man, that tree got meat in it. Man, did you see that? That was wild. Can some This isn't a normal horse. I've looked up a weird situation like this. It's actually a skinwalker trying to form itself a like an animal. Animal. Let me know what you think about them clips. Weird. Videos that seem innocent but are terrifying when you know the backstory. In 2017, a vlogger posted a video to his YouTube channel called She's Still Sleeping. He recorded his wife Penny thinking that she was asleep and made comments about how it was odd that she wasn't awake yet. As it turns out, she had died in her sleep and the vlogger had recorded her completely unknowing. Since, the video has been removed. A few years ago, an African grey parrot named Bud witnessed his owner Martin Durham being murdered by his wife. And the following is a video of the parrot mimicking his owner Martin's last moments begging for his life. The last video shows a news reporter interviewing Stephen McDaniel about a missing woman named Lauren Gidding. During the interview, the reporter tells him that a missing body was found and he mentally shuts down. Because as it turns out, he was the one that killed her. He did that because he knew he was out of there, buddy. Gone. Life. <laughs> Under it's there. official. Quantum computing has gotten far too strong and far too intelligent for us humans. First, let me tell you what it did, then I'll explain how it does it. Then I'll explain what quantum mechanics actually is. So Google's new quantum computer was able to solve a problem that it would take our other biggest supercomputer 47 years to solve and did it in a few seconds. So I believe the prior record was 53 qubits in 2019. Well, this was just operating at 70 qubits. Before I explain the dangers and what quantum mechanics is, so what is a qubit? A qubit takes the place of a bit. A bit is a one or a zero. But now in quantum mechanics, the ones and zeros are superpositions. Each one is a superposition, meaning it could be both, neither, or both at the same exact time. Meaning at some point that this computer's computing power will be theoretically endless as each qubit exponentially grows the power in the thinking of the computer. So a superposition is this, and this is proven by science, by the way. If you put a cat in a box and there is poison in the box and a lever, if the cat touches the lever, it gets poisoned and it passes away, right? If the cat does not touch the lever and did not get poisoned, it will not pass away. 
until observed, if there's a top on the box, you can't see in it, until observed, this cat is both alive and dead at the same exact time. Y'all, this is proven. Not until observed does this superposition choose its position, which they have proved with a double slit experiment. And this experiment right here proves the other cat in the box experiment. So they set mm. this up with and without a camera. They were shooting electrons to a backboard, but before it could hit the backboard, there were two slits it could go through. When being recorded, the electrons went exactly the way you would think they would, through the slits and to the backboard. But check this That's out. Weird. When the observation, the camera, the viewing eye of the electrons left, the electrons acted much differently. Now remember, when the electrons were being observed by the camera, they basically followed the universal law and the logic we thought they would follow, and they went through the slits and hit the backboard exactly as the slits were. But when the electrons were not being watched, they took on superpositions as they were previously before we even looked at them, and they created a wide pattern on the backboard showing they were going wherever they wanted to, completely theoretically defying our universal laws of physics and logic. Back to the cat in the box, until observed, the cat's both alive and dead at the same time. Back to the age-old question, if a tree fell in the woods and there was no one around to hear it, would it make a sound? You say, yeah, but how do you know? Back to Sigmar, our strongest quantum computer. Now, follow me on this. Imagine, with our artificial intelligence, soon to be artificial and general intelligence, which is already alive and well, which means computing or thinking for itself. Imagine we ingrained it with quantum mechanics, having maybe an infinite number of qubits or infinite amount of thinking, where then these AIs would be able to use quantum mechanics to see every form of reality at the same exact time in every single superposition. By seeing every superposition, they see every outcome in every fathomable outcome from every single equation they would be able to, in seconds, create a list from top to bottom exactly how to take over the Earth because they know every reasonable expectation and what would happen at every movement they made. And it gets deeper. Knowing every single possibility of the future and how everything will go, this machine would consider itself God and the people would consider it God. Because through unveiling every literal superposition that exists Theoretically, this machine would know the past, future, and present and exactly what you're going to say through superpositions and so much more than our mind can even comprehend. Boom. Man, that's crazy, but they getting out of control with this AI stuff, man. The quantum computers and all that is getting wild, man. But uh hey, all we can do is hang in there, man. And you know what I'm saying? Keep our faith. That's it. But y'all, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that clip down below in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell on your way out so you be notified whenever I drop some new fire content. Hey y'all, one more thing. Don't forget to show some love, man, to the channel man subscribe man if y'all watching hit the like button subscribe man and go show some love to the instagram man y'all go follow me on instagram and send me some videos that y'all want to see into the videos that i show here at don koozie 107 money game oh not money game 107 mg let's get that correct but money game for mg mg for money game yes y'all do that right there and y'all go show some love and y'all can also follow me on patreon at koozie reacts it's your boy koozie i'm out y'all take it easy